As you say. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Blood and damnation. Yes. It shall be done. Very well. Very well. I fell for a moment there I thought I was I thought it was all over everything I I will explain everything when we are back at camp now is not the time Move along, friend. Oh, wonderful. I always appreciate correspondence from my upstanding friends in the Collective. 
On behalf of myself and my men, I thank you. I'll make sure the Collective's generosity is reciprocated. On your way now. back in Antiva who would be very excited to meet you. I'm sorry? Salveil prefers women with experience and maturity. He says they have more substance, are more robust and flavorful. Does he now? Indeed. No need to deny it. Zevran knows a fine bird when he sees one. I am not a bird. There is no reason to deny yourself the pleasure of male companionship after all, yes? You might buck now, but I assure you, Salveil is a gentleman of means and quite handsome. I am going to walk away now, calmly, coolly. This is to save you the pain of having your brain forcibly removed through your ears. This must be a Ferelden thing, I swear. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. The Mage's Collective thanks you. Make us smile upon you. My Palena returned. She told me of your daring rescue. I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. Take this. A reward for your deed. It's dwarven made and should serve you well. Thank you again. I'm forever in your debt. wrong, I assume. I'm sorry, are you speaking to me? That is why you wish to leave your crows. A crisis of conscience. 
Yes, that is exactly it. Joke if you wish, but I have the feeling that deep down you regret the life you have lived. It's true. I regret it all. Uh, must you be such a child? Are you incapable of a single serious conversation? I know. I'm terrible and it makes me sad. May I rest my head in your bosom? I wish to cry. You can cry well away from my bosom, I'm certain. Did I tell you I was an orphan? I never knew my mother. Eh, hey, Gad, I give up. Very well. I think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. You should know that something happened to me at the tower before you came along. You spoke to Petra, did you not? She told you I saved her from a demon. I did, but I did not survive that encounter. Let me explain fully. I engaged a very powerful demon to rescue Petra. It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. It took everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my life ebbing away. Everything receded from me. Sound, light. I remember being enveloped in complete, impenetrable darkness. And then I sensed a presence enfolding me and cradling me, whispering quietly to me. The sensation is impossible to describe. I was being held back firmly but gently as a mother would a child eager to slip from her grasp. I felt life and warmth flowing through my veins again. I began to be aware of small sounds and the discomfort of my hip pressing into the cold stone of the tower floor. The Fade contains spirits both benevolent and malicious. The benevolent spirits seldom make themselves known, because they want nothing from mortals, unlike the demons. It was one of these spirits that saved me. Without it, I would be dead. And it has not left me. It is with me, even now, bonded to me. You see, I am supposed to be dead. It is the spirit that is keeping me in this world. And this is not the way of things. Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening gradually. I am living on borrowed time. Yes, that we will. What's on your mind? I have always had an affinity for the spirits of the Fade. As a child, I never feared my dreams because I knew they were there. I could sense the demons, too, and their presence frightened me. It was the kindly spirits of the Fade that took the fear from me. I've always been able to feel the spirits, even if I never saw them. And as I nurtured my talent in the circle, I became more sensitive. I began to notice every time I was in the Fade, whether it was in a dream or in magical practice, that I was being watched. I suppose they must. It is these benevolent spirits that create our dream worlds in the Fade. Sometimes I would see it. A glowing, nebulous form. Most times I would just feel its presence, gentle and comforting, but somehow alien. I think it is a spirit of faith. They have never been seen before, and perhaps I am wrong. But something tells me I'm not. It always felt like the same entity. This one spirit was curious about me, and was guarding me, for want of a better word.
There were times when I was in the Fade that it seemed to stretch forth to shield me, keeping me safe. And I think it gave me strength in my most terrible battles, Ostagar being one of them. I don't know why I was chosen. Perhaps it knew that there was something more that lay in store for me. I like to think that I was given a rare chance, and I'm going to make the best of the time so generously given to me. I will not lie motionless in a bed with coverlets up to my chin, waiting for death to claim me. That is not the death for me. And so I will fight alongside the Grey Warden and help prepare her for the task that is yet before her. So you had better listen to me, because I swear, if I should fall before the end and you don't seem to be doing things properly, I'll get up again to give you a good finger-wagging. You know, I think you'll be all right, even without my help. Yes. Yes. Yes.
spirit that sustains me so that it could lend us aid. I did not realize it would take this much out of me. It seemed a good idea at the time, if a little rash. I think it may have weakened the spirit a little. Well, um, that's certainly conceivable. I suppose I shouldn't be using that particular trick to entertain children at parties. I promise I'll be careful. And thank you. Your concern is touching. I shall do it. I shall do it. Very well. As you say. Shall be done. Very well. Oh, blast it. Horsefish. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Very well.
we do battle! I shall do it. Best be where you is. fall here! Quickly, we must fight! Stop. I think we worked well together. Him. He is no common bandit. None of them were. Their weapons and armor are of fine make, and they are well trained. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Who are you? <laughs> Someone who regrets taking you on. I was told it would be an easy job. Kill the little red-haired girl. Deal with the others as we pleased. Kill the... You came to kill me? I don't pay to ask why someone wants someone else dead. I just need to know what to do and where to get my money. Ha! Money. I'll be lucky to get away with my life, it seems. <laughs> Maybe we could work something out. You like the idea? Speak quickly. I've no real quarrel with you. Wasn't me that wanted you dead. But I know how you can find the one who does. I have some directions written down on how to get to the house. It's in Denerim. Yeah, it's the best I can do. Thank you. Now leave. I never want to see you again. Don't worry. I'll not trouble you no more. It's Marjolaine. It has to be. Maybe someone saw me. Maybe she's finally found me and wants to finish what she started. She needs to answer for what she's done to me. If we are ever in Denerim, I would like to seek her out. Perhaps it's time to settle this score for good. Very well. It shall be done.
Very well. Shall be done. Very well. As you say. As you say. I shall do it. It is begun. As you say.
I shall do it. Very well. How did a child survive that? The crater is still smoking. It's a boy. Five fingers, five toes. That's all that matters to me. The Maker has answered our prayers. Let's go home, Marta, and raise the Tyke as our own. It took me years and years to learn, and even then I am not the best at it. So you didn't sneak around when spying? We all had different ways of doing things. Some preferred not to be seen at all, to cloak themselves in shadow and darkness. I realize that it is not such a bad thing to be seen, as long as you do not stand out and are quickly forgotten. I specialized in blending in, not drawing attention and looking like I had every right to be there. It is invisibility, but of another kind. Ah, yes. But I heard you often seduced your targets. They'd remember you. Not if they died. Oh. Dying while in the company of a lovely seductress. Tell me that isn't a good death. I don't know if I should take you seriously. But you scare me sometimes. Welcome back, youngster. Looking to go across to the tower? Gregor came by, said I could have Lissy back. He seemed sad and tired. Off we go then. You went above and beyond the call of duty for the Circle. You have done us proud. The child is possessed. But killing the demon would mean killing the... Unless you intend to enter the Fade. Yes. Yes, it can be done with a group of mages. I shall gather what mages I can, and we shall leave promptly. A life is at stake. You really killed all those abominations? I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you?
I shall do it.